to my dearest, Luca. Love letters often talk about cherished memories and emotions, and here, I am penning one to the enchanting 2021 animated film, Luca. A film celebrating friendship, self-discovery, and acceptance, Luca is a pearl in the sea of animated cinema. The plot unfurls in the idyllic, sun-drenched Italian Riviera, where Luca Pagaro, a sea monster boy, is curious about the human world. An unforeseen friendship with Alberto Scorfano, another sea monster posing as a human, plunges him into an adventure beyond his wildest dreams. A heartwarming exploration of freedom, identity, and acceptance, the film delicately intertwines themes of adolescence and otherness, serving a narrative as layered as the deep blue sea. Director Enrico Casarosa paints a canvas of nostalgia, inspired by his own childhood experiences. His signature style, reminiscent of his Oscar-nominated short film, La Luna, translates wonderfully onto the full-length feature, making Luca a picturesque fable. The film breathes life into a dreamy Italian summer, with its rustic charm, and vibrant culture. The screenplay, penned by Jesse Andrews and Mike Jones, is an elegy to friendship. It beautifully captures the nuances of childhood camaraderie, fear of the unknown, and the courage to be oneself. The dialogues are witty, poignant, and sincere, resonating with audiences across age groups. The film's music, composed by Dan Roma, is an evocative symphony that enhances the narrative. The score harmoniously intertwines with the film's emotional arcs, using Italian folk influences to create an authentic sonic environment. The music resonates with the characters' joys, fears, and discoveries, making it an intrinsic part of the narrative. Luca doesn't just tell a story, it visually narrates a poem. The cinematography, led by David Juan Bianchi and Kim White, is a vibrant hue palette that captures the Italian Riviera's essence. The sea's deep blues, the town's pastel charm, and the golden Italian sun, all culminate in a visual spectacle that is a feast for the eyes. The editing, deftly handled by Catherine Apple and Jason Hudak, seamlessly marries the narrative and visual elements. The transitions between Luca's underwater world and the human town are as fluid as the water, maintaining the narrative's rhythm and pacing. Coming to the vocal performances, they are nothing short of brilliant. Jacob Tremblay, as Luca, brings innocence and curiosity, while Jack Dylan grazes Alberto is the embodiment of mischievous courage. Emma Berman's Julia is a beacon of resilience and friendship, while Severio Raimondo's Ercole perfectly encapsulates the stereotypical bully. Maya Rudolph, Jim Gaffigan, and Marco Baricelli lend their voices to Luca's underwater family and Julia's father, respectively, adding the perfect blend of humor, concern, love and warmth. Critics have universally lauded Luca for its thematic depth, charming visual aesthetic, and emotional resonance. While some have drawn comparisons to the works of Studio Ghibli, it is agreed that the film stands on its own merit, offering a Pixar experience with a distinctive Italian flair. In conclusion, Luca is more than an animated film, it is a love letter to childhood, friendship, and acceptance. Its enchanting narrative, visually stunning artistry, and heartwarming themes make it a cinematic gem. It reminds us that sometimes, it's okay to be different, to break away from the crowd, and to embrace who we truly are. Like the sea that Luca fears and loves, the film is a voyage of discovery and growth, one that leaves us with a warm, sunlit glow in our hearts. It urges us to dive deep, just like Luca, into the unknown and emerge transformed, shedding our fears and inhibitions. It is a testament to the magic of animation and storytelling that even in the guise of sea monsters and Italian summers, it makes us see a reflection of our own experiences. As I end this love letter to Luca, I want to echo its core message of embracing change and celebrating differences. It is a film that doesn't merely entertain, it inspires and leaves an unforgettable effect. It is a film that is, in essence, a celebration of life. A life where friendships are deep, adventures are exciting, summers are endless, and as Luca and Alberto would agree, Silencio Bruno, which silences the voice of self-doubt. It is a film that weaves a spell of timeless magic, reminding us all to cherish the journey of self-discovery and to embrace the Luca within us. 
Sincerely, Style Cinephile.